Hey everybody, this is Corey Salty True Floyd, and this is the Geek Report. This week, McDonald's is bringing back a, a, a OG classic. Something over at Nintendo turned 27 this week. Plus, we might actually get a live action look at Night City itself. All that and more this week on the Geek Report. Let's go. Hey everybody, this is Corey Salt True Floyd, and this is the Geek Report. Today with me, as always, is my number two, my guy in the chair, the cue to my James Bond, Demon Engine. Yo, yo, what's up everybody? <laughs> <laughs> lo- love love the velvety entrance, very, very, very smooth, like dark chocolate. You, you Mike, I had to. <laughs> Well, everybody, we've got, you know what it is. It's another week. A lot of stuff has gone down. Let's talk about it. Demon Engine, let's go. All righty. So first up. All uh... right. Nintendo 64 came out 27 years ago this week. I'm three years older than this thing. Fuck, I'm old. Yeah, you, yeah, you are. But that that's... We don't need to know that Nintendo 64 came out 27 years ago to see that you're old. You just got to look at at dreads. First off, my hair can be very misleading because I, I started graying when I was 18. So, Back in the 50s? Wow, I can't stand it. Anyway, <laughs> Nintendo 64... Nintendo 64 came out and little to say it was a fucking hit. Uh Super, Super Mario 64, Super uh, Smash Brothers, Golden Eye, Perfect yeah. Dark, Ocarina of Time. I could do this all day. I was 3 when this came out, so I don't there's a lot that I don't remember. I probably didn't start playing this shit till I was like 7. <laughs> You got it when everybody started getting on PlayStation. Oh, I shortly got a PlayStation after that. I never looked back. <laughs> All right, what's next? Uh, oh. Just a whole bunch. Just a whole bunch of games. Yeah. Okay, so I remember Banjo. I already Zuby. said perfect. I remember Dark, Mario Kart sixty four. I don't. Know, I've never played in the Donkey Kong. I do remember Smash. I remember Pokemon Snap. Fucking. Yo, those Star Wars Pokemon games in 64 were lit. I don't think I've ever played the Star Wars games back then. It was like they were um they were they were all just, you know, TIE fighters, you know? I think there was one oh, regular yeah. game, but I, I didn't fuck with it. I was too busy mm-hmm. into like uh Rogue Squad. That, that was that was a game series, yeah. And next back up, let me put this back up. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so Live action Cyberpunk 2077, a pro a project is currently in development. Now, I don't know the name of the production studio, but they have been behind some really good, really good films. As all soon I'm as I have their the... name, I'm gonna be all over it. Go ahead, Demon. What you got to say? All I say is I'm actually here for it because I feel like we haven't we didn't get enough of Altered Carbon. Mm. Mm. Okay, Altered Carbon. I was thinking more of um of um Battle Angel Alita. That too. We didn't get enough of that, but isn't that isn't a sequel in the works for that one? I'm pretty sure we talked about it. There is a there's a convers the, last time I checked there was a conversation on it. Don't know how far that conversation went, but maybe, but just aesthetically wise, we need, we, it would be a mashing of the two. You yeah, know what I'm okay. saying? It would be a mashing of the two. Uh, of course, this is all that's currently known. Uh, either way, I'm fucking here for it. I'm like, listen, if, if, if 
Cyberpunk Edge Runners already got so many people invested in the world that <laughs> like that, like they, they they're foaming at the mouth for studio Just to do don't a hit me with nah, any bro. more Rebecca's. Don't Listen. just don't. I I don't have the strength for it. I don't. My heart can't take it. Listen, man. Cyberpunk has, goes for the feels. They go for the feels, and it. Psh. Yeah, you know they had a um they had like a concert recently over in England, and they had the artist who sings the song from Edge Runners. Ooh. Yeah. All right. What's next? Um... Okay. This this was actually sent to me during the Geek Report last week, and it like mentally had me fucked up. Cause Alice in Borderland, if you have not seen this show on Netflix, I please I implore you. If you if if you like if you like Battle Royale, but you were raised on Hunger Games, but need something with the same energy but with all the violence, Alice in Borderland is definitely it. And I'm trying. Let me put some, let me put emphasis on this. The way season two ended, everything was sewn up. So where's the third season going? Mm-hmm. I'm still gonna like, watch it. This, like I'm like I am so confused. It, it, Demon, what? Like, Demon, I demand you watch Alice in Borderland. So when you watch the end of, of season two, you can be like, so how the fuck y'all doing this? I will, but before I do that, I have to watch Castlevania. I gotta watch Richter run them hands Belmont first. Not a problem. Hell, uh, I, I got a story on that, too. Let's keep rolling. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, um, a movie about the um, submersible Ocean Gate implosion is being developed. Um, mm-hmm. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what production company is behind this. If they're going to be playing it, if they're going to be playing this for serious or. If, if this all I like, all I need is all I like need a be special or is a scene of James Cameron going there to fucking to retrieve the controller, retrieve the game. No, I, James Cameron wouldn't even do that. They would just be like, they be like, so Mr. Cameron, what do you think about the folks down in the submersible? He's like, oh, I, I, I've seen that thing. Uh, they're probably dead. Are you sure? Pretty sure. I'm not. I'm not the smartest man, but I know I wouldn't go down there in that. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yo, I ain't gonna lie. I, I I want the movie to be shot from the surviving son's point of view. <laughs> I'm sorry. I would love, I would love for this movie to be from his point of view, because he like, like, like his own thoughts. Like when he first looked at the submersible, he was like, "So he paid how much for us to go down in this shit? Fuck that! I got Blink One Eighty Seven. Go by damn self." You know, you know what's the funny part about this? The reason what? why I'm laughing so much because some of them recently put a world up in DRC where you're sitting in this subway. I'm not even... Wow. Let's move on, demon. <laughs> Fucking believable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, so... <laughs> We've spoken on this before. 
there's a Barney the Dinosaur film being made with Daniel Kaluuya as Barney. And the people at Mattel uh, had to clarify that this is not going to be an odd movie in comparison. And when they say odd, they mean kind of like the recent hit Barbie. Which, yeah, Barbie's an odd movie, but it's also smart and well-written and perfectly executed. So... I'm not sure if they're shooting themselves in the foot here or what. Because, uh, I mean, I'm not sure if this is going to be them being, you know, Barney is a dinosaur or is it the story behind Barney? Because the story behind Barney is very, very interesting. It's fucking wild from my <laughs> Yeah, especially when it comes to the guy in the suit. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, mm, mm, I'm not going to touch that. Apparently too many people did. Uh. <laughs> Moving ahead. Uh, now that the writer's strike is over, um, it means a lot of things for a lot of shows. Well, one, The Last of Us Season 2 can uh, start figuring out how uh, if they're gonna let um, how they gonna let Joel get his walking papers? Uh, and, and on the other side of it, Stranger Things. God damn, yo! If the hospital scene don't look like it's something out of John Wick, I don't. But the stranger, yo, stranger things, I feel bad because, like, yo, these kids are old as shit now. Like, they're not even kids anymore. Shit. Eleven is, like, married. Like, yo, these are going to be the oldest, yo, these are going to be, like, the, this is going to be some of the oldest looking high schoolers since Beverly Hills 90210. Jesus. But it's not their fault. It really, it, it really isn't. Uh, you had the pandemic, and then you have the strike, and then plus the 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 writing process for this with the Duffer Brothers is is can be tedious, but for a good reason. So I hope everything turns out the way they want. Uh, damn. Yo, these kids just been going. These kids old as shit. They go. They go. Probably have to make them breathe in helium to sound like children. Ah, uh, it is what it is. Black kid probably sound like you. Oh no! Somehow, SpongeBob SquarePants is still going. Let it die. How old? How long has this shit been going? Fifteen seasons. seasons? So. Uh, I mean, more power to them, I guess. I've seen me. Uh, listen, I've seen maybe four episodes of SpongeBob in total. I laugh at some of it. It already has thirteen like three, seasons. Don't it got like three movies? The, they, uh, don't it got like three movies? A spinoff. A couple, like two, three video games now. I'm checking. I'm checking. Listen, uh, you know what? Thirteen seasons. You know what though? I- I'll give it. I'll give it this one. Three it, movies, two of them being three D. I like how a whole generation <laughs> of people games. only knows Clancy Brown as Mister Krabs. I don't Clancy, even know who the fuck Clancy Brown is. Clint, uh, Clancy Brown, uh, he's the dude that voices Mr. Krabs. All right, remember the first season of The Mandalorian? You're asking a lot of me. Okay. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. All right, remember Starship Troopers? Yes. The Sergeant. The Sergeant. 
the the sergeant that took the sergeant that t- had him in training camp. <laughs> that just straight up broke dude's arm. <laughs> that's Mr. Krabs. Yeah, that's Mr. Krabs. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that's that is called acting. Uh, let's go to the next one. <sighs> okay, I'm not here for it. Taylor I Swift it. has been. You know what? I'm not even bad at her. Don't she get it's into every... relationships? It's everyone to else. End them and make music of it. Oh my God! You're gonna know. be you're gonna be amazing. She just looks at a new nigga and be like, "Oh, you're gonna be my next album." Yo, here's yo, and you know, all right. Apparently, she might play Dazzler in Deadpool three. I want to say this is a bad idea, but it's not a horrible idea to, as long as she's not like, a as long as she's just a cameo. Because here's the funny part, and a lot of people may and might not have known this. If you go back and watch um, X Men Apocalypse, for some reason, there's actually a cameo of Dazzler in the record store, and the person who was on the record was Taylor Swift. So this seed, this seed was already planted. So. Uh, look, I, I don't know. I'm not here. I'm not here to just. It's it's whatever. I, I I don't listen to her music. I don't really know of her shit of her. So, yay, nay, I don't care. And it's Deadpool. I highly don't give a fuck about Deadpool. You don't have an issue with Deadpool. You hate the fan base. Eh, tomato tomato. Wow. Moving ahead. Their fan base is so the fan base ride him so much they want to beat him. So to made a tomato. There were a good there were some layoffs over at Naughty Dog. So uh The Last of Us play uh multiplayer spinoff is currently on ice. And let me be one of the first to say good. And a bite. Anybody playing Last of Us for a fucking multiplayer experience? Really not. I mean, y'all be adding yo, y'all be adding multiplayer shit to things that no one fucking asked for. I'm always down for a co-op survival. A co-op. To be all right, maybe. Sure. I'm always down for a co-op survival, but at the same time, like, well, not hearing Naughty Dog and then multiplayer. I'm just thinking back to like fucking. The multiplayer on the Uncharted game. Yeah, I'm about like, to say. Uh, uh, ain't nobody like, ain't nobody asked for that shit. Y'all like Naughty Dog. Y'all got these great, great story led games. All of a sudden, y'all want to start doing multiplayer. Stop. Get some Stop. help. Get some help. Yeah. Like yeah. If it, it like if it if it wasn't a Crash Bandicoot team game, y'all y'all need to work on it. It's good. Relax. <laughs> Get Last of Us three. Just, just just crank out some more single player cinematic masterpieces. Put this multiplayer shit up. Damn. I'm trying to do some multiplayer. Let shit. the multiplayer niggas do the multiplayer niggas things. Just you y'all need to just cut. All right, so uh, James Gunn says that Peacemaker Season 2 will be part of the new DCU, which I had no doubt. James Gunn has already been on record. He said John Cena is is going to be there. The young man who played Blue Beetle is going to be there. By the way, if you, have, uh, if you have Max, check out Blue Beetle. It is a decent movie. It's a, it, it, it's a, it's a, it's a fine film. I, I I feel like I, I was like I kind of like it's one of those things where I kind of feel bad because I'm like yo, you didn't really deserve the bomb. Like you like you like you didn't deserve that kid. 
It's just the wrong place, wrong time. That's all it is. Yeah, yeah, it really was. That's why that's why things are looking even bleaker for Aquaman too. But peace up. But first off, I gotta get yo. When I say James Gunn is what is that guy, he really is that guy. Cause let look, cause let's really look at this demon. He 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 came in. He came in during uh because Marvel fell for Okie doke and he was fired. He came in, he gave them a reboot sequel of Suicide Squad. That was so fucking fit, fit so fantastical that they gave him the green light to make a show off one of the characters and he chose easily the most hated character. Had, like, if you, if you, everyone had a reason to hate Peacemaker. But damn it, by the end of season one, you kind of cheer for the motherfucker. That is a talent. That is, that, that is a pure talent. So it was so it am I wrong, Demon? You're not wrong. Hold on so, one second. Yeah. As a matter of fact, we have uh Peacemaker is is part of the, the first DLC pack for uh for Mortal Kombat one. I can't wait. I I I I can't wait to see a skill set. Like he, he shh. boy, I tell you, he gonna savage, absolutely savage. Oh, <laughs> yo! So, me and girls is a very guilty pleasure of mine. I love this movie. And someone put it all all of it up on TikTok in 23 parts. And I got to admit, the way some of y'all channels do this shit, I be like, y'all tedious as hell, but thank you. Have you ever seen Mean Girls Demon? A long ass time ago. I'm pretty sure I only watched it once, to be honest. Oh, this is one of those movies that has aged like a fine wine. It uh, it's still it's still funny. Somehow it's still relevant. And hell, uh, the, from if uh, my memory serves me correct, there's even a Broadway musical based off it now. That is so fetch. Don't. Don't don't you ever do it. Don't you dare. As a grown black man. <laughs> don't you ever formulate your lips to say that shit. <laughs> I couldn't even do it again. <laughs> ah. The McRib returns. Nobody give a fuck about this. Yo, no, appar- no, apparently people like flip their shit over the McRib. Why? Personally, For I would never what? know. I don't know. The people that flip their shit over the McRib coming back, it's the same people that's still waiting for their dad to come back from the store with the milk. Damn. I would just keep it a beat. I would just keep it a beat. Because it I ain't mean, no fucking rib in that. A boneless rib sandwich. I'm like, I don't listen. Don't you don't fucking tr- lie to me. I don't want it's trouble it's from McDonald's. Rib. But uh, that shit ain't nothing but secretary at on a on a bun. If you don't put this malformed piece of beef, you done sir, shaped that, in the ribs, sir. That is horse. Even worse. If you don't get this shit fuck out of my goddamn face. Nobody cares about this shit coming back. Meanwhile, the, meanwhile, back, the ice cream machine again. remains broken. It remains broken. This is just a distraction. Wake up. Wake up to reality. Stay woke. 
We was kings. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the big for- rib, you see, comes from the rib of the oppressors. Hence why we like it so much. Why it tastes so good and it just gets our brains going crazy. And That's why they buds. say they're loving it. Tantalizing. But <laughs> up, 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 my brother. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, this uh, image from Joker 2. Uh, for Lord did for Lord do. Uh, yo. I know, like, I've seen a few images and a few clips from production, and I have no idea what the fuck is going on. I have no idea what the fuck is going on either. But I can but tell I you keep like, hearing it's a musical. This is a vibe. This is a mood. Yeah, the, the photo's definitely a fucking mood. 100% a fucking mood. It's my window. I, I can't stand the flame looking at us. I can't. You won't be started. This year at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, there's going to be a new anime edition. Luffy! A Luffy balloon will appear in this year's Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. It, 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 like, we got Goku now. Pikachu, Luffy. I'm fine with it, but this should have been Gear 5, Luffy. I ain't gonna lie. I, no, no, no. Because then, cause then you have to explain that to people who don't know what the fuck is going on. That, uh, oh, well. Oh, well. That's a lot. You know what did you tell them? Watch One Piece. Oh, Lord. I'm, a, I, yo, I'm waiting for them to fuck up and make a, and just make one of the wrong character. <laughs> like like I feel like I feel like it's coming like it's just going to be a character that's not supposed to be uh glorified I don't <laughs> like someone somewhere is going to have You a- said I just... that and what? I you said that in my mind immediately went to if there is a fucking Griffith Oh, Balloon wow. at the Macy's Day Parade. I'm squaring up wow. with everybody. Horrible. Horrible. You said some, You said someone that don't belong. My mind went straight to there. Remember, kids, if they say Griffith did nothing wrong, or if that's their favorite character, that is no longer your friend. That is Only an villains op, do that. An op in training. Horrible. What's next? Okay, so uh, movies are coming to PlayStation Plus, Premium, and Deluxe. Uh, I mean... Sure. I could just give these people what they want, you know, more games. But uh, yeah, sure, movies. It's not like there isn't any other apps providing that these days. Fucking really, Sony? I, I honestly feel like you put you putting including the, the Sony shit just to get to me. Not going on. Well, it's PlayStation. Look, I don't care what they do. You want to know what I'm caring about? If we get in another Ghost of Tsushima, when the next God of War coming out, the things that fucking that I don't give a fuck about movies coming to PlayStation Plus. I don't even got PlayStation. But here's the thing: why? Why do y'all? There's so many other streaming services that people are already signed up for. Why the fuck did you think adding movies to your premium deluxe packages would be something they were looking for? No, that's not what they're looking for. You know what they would have been looking for? How about more PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2 games, even PlayStation 3 games, available in your catalog? 
I guarantee you they would be way more interested in that shit than your fucking movies. I mean, damn, what we got? We got Apple, Apple TV, Hulu, Amazon Video, Netflix, Netflix fucking... Tubi, Crunchyroll, Paramount Plus, Peacock. You added movies. That shit is like. <laughs> Did y'all even is the catalog even that big? Because I can see I'm seeing you tell me a lot I don't of know man on this motherfucker. One, two, three, four, oh, yeah. five, six, seven. And while I'm, while I'm here, most of this of- most of the screen is either Spider-Man or Spider-Man adjacent. Right. <laughs> while I'm here. And for for people who are fans of Spider-Man video games, that is what's up. I enjoy the games as well. But stop acting like each brand new Spider-Man game is going to be like something whole new. All these games of the last 20 years, the nigga has still been in the same fucking city. All of the, uh, each new game only adds more detail. That's it. You meet some you meet some more characters. Relax. Still gonna be a great game. But stop acting like it's always the second coming of the Messiah. Spidey patrols the same shit and is frequently caught up in above his pay grade situations. But he is always almost exclusively gonna be in the same fucking area. That dirty ass section of New York. <laughs> what? Next one. <laughs> okay, so the people behind the Ring app are offering customers one million dollars if they capture footage of extraterrestrials. <sighs> y'all set yourselves up for all sorts of scams. All sorts of scams. As a matter of fact, this is, we're going we're going to network that shit. We going we're get, somebody going to sit there, do a full on, make take painstakingly CGI render from the perspective of multiple people's fucking ring doorbells. So like, oh, yeah, true, true. Yeah, our our ring doorbells are a little over there too. Is that true? Oh my god. Horrible. Okay, so CD Projekt Red is still in uh they're still in the early development stages of their cyberpunk sequel. And they haven't decided whether they're gonna go first or third person for the cyberpunk sequel. Um I mean It's less work if you have, I feel as though it's less work if you go first person. Because if you're in the first person perspective, then it really doesn't matter what the body's model is doing. It only needs to look correct when, if viewed in a mirror or you're able to like look down and look at yourself. If you do it in third person, you're going to have to keep that in mind. It's going to have to match up. Or well, you can just do both. And yeah, switch, switch I, back and forth. People yeah, would love cause, that. Because uh, uh, I'd say Grand Theft Auto Five on the newer consoles give you option of both. So, but damn, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. Seeing some of the shit in Cyberpunk and third person would be pretty fucking cool. Damn, that's a hard... Damn. This one, what the hell y'all think? <laughs> While we're still here in Cyberpunk, apparently from from the launch all the way up to now, they spent $125 million. Wouldn't have to do that if they just 
let them do this shit the right the first time. I agree. I agree. Because that $125 million, that could have went towards, you know, like another DLC pack instead of just the one. Mm-hmm. But, but you know, suits going to suit. I don't want, want no trouble. I don't want no trouble, man. I don't. Of course. I haven't even watched it yet. But of course. Renewed for a second season. Of course. The fight. I haven't seen I haven't seen any clips of what she can do. But I know Richter catch these hands. Belma. Stuck like his goddamn show. Stunting like stunting like his daddy. Stunting like Look at the footwork. Look at the footwork. Meek 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 meek. Weave. Meek 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 weave. Meek meek meek. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> My right, man like... said no oxygen at that. If you somehow get find a chance to breathe, it would be a miracle. Castlevania, uh, of course, the extension of the series so far. We're now at Nocturne. Fantastic. Still being executive produced by Artie Shankar. Fantastic anime. Beautiful story as well as visuals. It deserves every single accolade. He also, ha- he also has another cartoon coming out on Netflix. Uh, I think it's called Captain Laserhawk. I seen like I seen like a quick trailer of it. Uh, a character played by a wrestler gets like annihilated in like thirty seconds. Mm. Ah yes. Next week, the ink will the ink will dry on the acquisition of of uh, Activision Blizzard. This will be a this will be a game changer in uh, in the long run. Um, I'm not sure. I, I, Right now, I feel like PlayStation doesn't. PlayStation sees the issues. That's why they were bitching so hard. But I don't think the 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 base gets it yet. Like I still like I will never I will never let them forget Demon. That at the end of the day, they begged and pleaded with Microsoft to not make Call of Duty an exclusive. I'll never, I, 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 at the end of the day, I'm like, listen, if, when it comes to these console people talking shit to each other, I'm like, I normally just let them live, but I'm like, hey, hey, Xbox ain't say shit when Sony just bought Obsidian. They was just like, all right, cool. And I'm like, all right. But then when they went to grab Activision, oh, 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 they can't do that. What does Obsidian even have? They're the people behind the Spider-Man game and the upcoming Wolverine game. It's their it, like it's it's their engine design and everything. Uh, after uh, a few months after the first Spider-Man game, Sony just flat out bought them. It's 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 gonna be some shit. It's gonna be some shit down the line. I, I, I it's gonna be it's Microsoft gonna do one fucking presentation or something, and everybody's gonna be like, "Wait, how'd that happen?" Yeah, nigga, that's under Activision Blizzard. You ain't know that. It's just it's gonna be one of them situations. Next one, Demon. Oh, the yo, this list. They had like the t- the top twenty some odd villains, and I was just like, I can't. Or I'm a, I, a lot of this shit is up to argument. Thanos was number one. Heath Ledger's Joker was number two. Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman is number three. Kill Mom. I'm like, ah, this yo. 
We might have to do a little episode just on this fucking list. The fact that fucking Joker on here twice. Well, I think it's, I think it's. I know it's of, two different ones. It's, yeah. it's Coulson and then Ledger, but still, you want to throw Joker in here twice and in, the, in the top ten at that, y'all wallow. Yeah. I think this. I think this is it. No, no, it should be. I thought there was another one. Mm, Is it? Oh yeah, yeah, no. The yo, I'm kind of upset that uh, Paul Dano's The Riddler is so low because uh, he actually, unlike most of the villains on this list, he actually accomplished his goal. Like, at the end of the Batman, the Riddler might be in prison, but he won. <laughs> so, I... I'm just saying, when a villain actually wins at the end of the day, you gotta give motherfucker his credit and respect. Yeah. It's understandable why why penguins on the bottom though. But you know what? I think I think time I think time will change that because Colin Farrell really did sell out sell that penguin. But I'm not feeling the fact that Danny DeVito's penguin is not up there. Like, yeah, Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman was cool, but Danny DeVito's penguin. That shit was spine chilling. Ain't nobody expect the penguin to come out that putrid, ugly, and violent. My man, like my man, had the umbrella with the slash blicky. I think we got the. I think we got one video up. The can you show the Mortal Kombat one? Well, I have to download it. But again, none of the sound is playing. That's fine. I just want you to look at this shit. It's just... And the funny thing is, like... (laughs) Mortal Kombat 1 has a lot of wild shit in it. And people are having a ball. Which, by the way, I think we should do a reaction to all the fatalities they have out right now. Demon, look at this shit. Look, 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 look. Fucking handcuffed him. Shot his ass. Tased him. Like, they took a billy cl- <laughs> Like, like, like. Like no, look at look at no, look at that shit again. Look at how fucked up it was. Look, because mind you, he gets handcuffed first. Like he literally, hit, he shoots him, tases him, and then hits him in the in the solar plex with a nightstick. I go, yo. And mind you, he like the he like one of two black people in that damn game. Oh. <laughs> uh, we, I'm sorry, oh. y'all. We don't, I'm, I'm horrible. But yeah, that uh, that's actually the end of our news for today. Uh, I wanted to thank I want to thank everyone for stopping in uh, for the Geek Report today. I hope you guys had a good time. Uh, we have a, we we're, we're, we have a great following going on here, but we need some more subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please be sure to hit that subscribe button right there, and make sure you hit that bell icon so you get up, updated anytime Ameribe Media drops some material. And I want to thank you guys for coming out again one more time today. Really do appreciate it. Demon Engine, it's always a treat having you here. You're, you're the man. You're the dude in the chair. Yeah, yeah. 
James Bond cannot go out to the field without his quartermaster. And I'm so thankful for you. I really am. Aww. Look at you being gay. Shut up. It only makes it worse because you're you're a member of the Alphabet (laughs) Mafia. Ah, I have diplomatic immunity <laughs> when it comes to getting nukes. Horrible. But seriously, folks, we want you to take care of yourselves. Um, be on the lookout next week. We're going to be doing a live show on Friday the 13th, and it's going to be about the slashers. Um, so- you know, keep an eye out for new content. Subscribe and all that. Subscribe for subscribe for the fact of the new mic alone. Cause God damn, this buttery, smooth, silky voice is coming at you live all the time now. Also, uh, also, we are we should be having some new items in our store by the time this comes up. So hopefully you guys are checking that out. Um, we want to shout out. We want to shout out our team member Queen Neek. Uh, we know she's headed back to Florida right now as we speak. We hope that she lands safely, and we'll be seeing her in the not too distant future, just like we hope to be seeing you in the not too distant future. We hope to check you guys out next time. This has been the Geek Report for Merrimy Media. Signing off. Next time I see you, Neek. It's on site, mixing your shit.